Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again, Taurus. Okay, love reading. Finally, finally. It's been a while since I have done um, love and relationship readings. And here we are. We are back again and we're beginning in October. So for Taurus, you guys uh, may remember, but anyway, I have a description in the description box. I will pull three cards to represent your energies. And then I'll do the same for a suspect prospect, okay, that we may be dealing with here, potential significant other. And then I will pull four cards down here to say your reaction to them, their reaction to you, best path forward, and a guiding note. And then maybe on top of that, we'll put what I like to call the four elements of a relationship here to take a look. Now, first card for you and for them is the call it the relationship appetite, readiness for a relationship, thoughts about that. Second card is general energy, if I may pull that or plug that. And the third card is how uh, the other party may see you, how you present in a way, okay? So general reading, the idea is spark an idea around relationships, hopefully help you manifest, um, establish a position, etc., etc. So Taurus, we begin with, okay, relationship appetite, you're looking for something new, you're looking for something solid, something earthy, okay? Now, uh, the earthiness of it has to do also with, obviously, long-term goals, okay? So that's going to come back to talk to us on different other points. And then I see a general energy of El Papa, call it the Hierophant if you want. So that is a very, very stable, grounded um, situation to be in, okay? That is an energy of um, you are following your own program, it's working for you in terms of other areas of life, uh, you are also able to attract positive energies. You're also able to attract others towards your ideas. So grounded, soft-spoken, kind, um, open to communicate, open to understand other sides, and non-judgmental too. So there's a lot that we could say here about the state of mind. But that does not mean, when I say non-judgmental, that does not mean that you're going to pick someone who you consider a no-go and say, hey, I don't judge, I just like them. No, that earthy seed here, Taurus, is what says, hey, you have such, you know what, good standards, high standards that you're not going to let go of, okay? And uh, you may be able to take your time to, I don't see a huge rush here. This isn't the fool. This is the Hierophant or call him the Pope and uh, they want to build something in a format that doesn't collapse like this. So uh, we'll get to that in a second, but I'm going to say their relationship appetite is a stable thought. It's a four of swords. It's, I kind of know what I want. Um, they may not be the fastest to move on it, but they have a bit of an idea in my humble view on what they want out of a relationship. You put your ace of coins together with their four of swords and there is the element of being grounded, of calculating, of knowing the road forward, etc., etc. Now, that doesn't mean lack of trust or this or that, but uh, to both of you, we could say there may have been something in the past that now makes, uh, you know what, the new move forward uh, based on facts being present, based on knowing exactly what I want to do. So there's logic on both sides here. General energy for their side. I see an ace of inspiration. I see things starting anew, okay? I see that. I see replenishment, rejuvenation, new ideas, uh, new energy, positive energy as well, motivating energy. Now, the way that you present, okay, it's as if you're doing something completely new. That's a major shift. That's how they would see you with this tower, as if, and it could be related to a past relationship as well. Now, the way that you see them is, in a way, if you agree with the king of coins sitting there, <laughs> wise, um, grounded, um, full of knowledge, but also very, very classical, very, very traditional. I mean, they have the thought of a relationship with a four of swords, okay? In a way, could match this energy, could match your current energy. Current energy, you are seeking this kind of stability, this kind of mindset, this no risks, this let's take our time, okay? Get to know each other, but take our time. And also, 
with you, Taurus, you will have some requirements with any new relationship, just based on that, based on that um, card. Now, take that with a grain of salt. And what can we say about that? Do we sometimes, Taurus, my dear, dear best friend, huh? do we sometimes present in a way that may, may, just may, you know what, give others the impression like this is going to be a lot of work related to their past. So I say that you take it with a grain of salt, but sometimes what you feel, the lessons you have learned from past relationships need not always be shared okay you keep some to yourself and then you establish trust and that's when we start opening up so i just wanted to make this note taurus on the shall we say how you may be perceived um information is to be given on a need to know basis okay and if you have a new set of standards for relationships because just yesterday you ended one and now you have set the new framework of how i love people how i you know what you know join in a relationship keep that to yourself okay you have the grounded energy here and you have the ability to attract i don't know why we dwelled on that but that wanted to come out okay your energy your reaction to their energy and theirs as well you react with wanting to gain confidence and feeling good about advancing their reaction to you okay inspiring changes you get them to think of more than one exciting change that they could do now, how are we going to prioritize those changes together with those two energies? There's going to be some fun work there. But overall, um, moving, shall we say, you compel each other to think. One of them is excited. One of them has a happy, feel-good feeling, if you will. That's on your side. Okay. Now, best path forward. What do we get? And we have the Empress. Okay. Staying grounded. Building it. I mean, she can connect with both the Pope she can connect with the king of coins staying grounded taking it slow taking it slow always win you and of course a guiding note here is the feelings that we have are rich but at the same time we need to know each other more we need to complete the process of getting to know each other okay kings are about completion of knowledge interesting guys um i find you know what the one note that pops up here is you're able to attract plenty Taurus keep what's yours yours it comes up obviously as you assess further the viability of personas and you know what potential relationships now four cards attraction trust shared goals and commitment let's see what notes pop up attraction this is new <laughs> it's like what we were talking about here the tower and the death card attraction there's a new way and I'm so excited for you you're finding a new way to fall in love and I love that okay and it's methodical okay trust here we have the excitement and this comes just over the five of wands right here the six of wands we have enough excitement that we can push forward and get to know each other okay on a trustworthy foundation and keeping it fun all right so again keep what's yours yours until you've established that but I see momentum to build it shared goals and we have a six of cups we want to feel good so on shared goals if you put them on a step-by-step -step, you know what priority of let's do this first let's do that first if you organize what you want to achieve first together that's when you feel happy okay about this is gonna work because we have shall we say understood it isn't gonna happen overnight but we're gonna build something together slowly shared goals commitment advancement further and further advancement so there's something i could say here to you the way that the wands are moving up with us lead me to say you have the elements to make this happen here you have a new way of making this relationship work okay or the relationship work the way it's almost as if it was custom for you you're designing the relationship that works best for you taurus Okay, general reading, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope we sparked some ideas here uh, that are positive and hopefully fun for you guys. And as always, I do and we do love you madly. Let me know what you guys thought. And bye for now.